Thank you, Reverend, and thank you for everything you do with the Episcopal Church in the One Campaign. We really appreciate it. I'm Susan McHugh. I'm the president of the One Campaign, and I want to thank you all for being here today, especially the African Children's Choir, fresh off their appearance on American Idol. Thank you. They're an inspiration. In my office at the One Campaign, I have a big sign on the wall, and it says, let's change the future. Well, today, the One Campaign is launching a project to do that. We hope One Vote 08 will change the lives of millions for the better. And we want to change how America is viewed in the world. I'm often asked, what is One? Well, One is really, it's an idea. It's an idea that issues of extreme poverty and global health transcend partisan politics and communities. One is a big, bold idea that we can live in a world free of extreme poverty and that the United States, with all of its greatness, can lead the way. Now the One Campaign is a grassroots movement of millions of members in all 50 states of all walks of life who've signed up because they believe in this idea. And they believe that America should lead the world in helping those most in need. I just got back from a trip to Rwanda, Kenya, and Tanzania, and I saw what's needed. And I also saw what's possible through smart, practical investments. And if everyone here could witness the same, I, I know you'd be inspired. But we know that not everyone can go to Africa and see the same. And so the One Campaign aims to make the connection to you through the media, through technology, and through our grassroots networking. Now, a lot of people think, well, Americans don't care. But I just referenced American Idol. There was recently an American Idol special called Idol Gives Back. Millions, tens of millions of Americans tuned in. They were moved, and they took action. There's a lot of evidence out there that demonstrates that if, if the awareness is raised, and if there's a call to action, that Americans will respond. We're going to talk a lot about how saving lives and stopping preventable diseases makes our country more secure. but Fundamentally, one members, and I, in fact, I think all Americans know that it's also just the right thing to do. And that's also an important message in this campaign. So in launching One Vote 08 today, our members are stepping up. They're engaging candidates. They're talking to their friends and neighbors. They're at town hall meetings, chicken dinners, house parties, churches, soccer fields, anywhere people and candidates gather. They're ready to bring about change. And those who aren't one members, well, we're going to be talking to them, too, and they're going to learn why addressing extreme poverty and global health is the smart thing to do for their future. We've assembled great teams to create the largest media and mass mobilization campaign ever seen in a presidential election around a set of issues. We've got the best political operatives in place. We've got Jessica Vanderberg running the Democratic track. She just ran Jim Webb's successful race over here. And we've got... Liesl Hickey was Chief of Staff for Congressman Mark Kirk, and she's run a lot of Republican races herself. She'll be running the Republican track, and Liesl's somewhere. We've also got a, a brain trust um, that is uh, unparalleled. It's, uh, it packs the political punch that we're really going to need to break through over the course of this election. On the Democratic side, we've got uh, John Podesta, who was here, John Podesta, Mike McCurry, Donna Brazil, Jeff Guerin, Steve Jarding, James Carville is here somewhere, and, and many more. And on the Republican side, we've got Jack Oliver, and Mike Gerson, and John McLaughlin, and Dina Powell, and Tucker Eskew, and others. So in addition to the two and a half million members that belong to one, one is also a big, broad coalition of nonprofit groups, charitable groups, and religious groups. And that's why we're here in a church today, is to really demonstrate the importance of the faith community to this campaign. More than 100 groups have come together as one. A lot of the leaders are here today, and I want to thank you all for being here today. I especially want to acknowledge one key partner of one called DATA. That stands for Debt, Aid, Trade, in Africa. Data, DATA was founded by Bono from U2. I think you're all familiar with him. And he's been a major inspiration for one. But we'll be working with DATA very closely on policy and candidate engagement. And DATA's executive director is Jamie Trump Drummond here in the front row. You want to stand up, Jamie? Jamie, is, uh, he's really my partner in this journey. And uh, couldn't do this without them. Last but not least, none of this would be possible without the support of the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. 
The foundation, I don't know how many of you know much about it, but it's guided by a fundamental belief that all lives, no matter where people live, are equal. And they're doing remarkable work to save lives and combat global inequities. Joe Sorrell from the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation is on the board of one, and he's a leading light for us, as are Sally Paxton and Cindy Lewis, who are down here in the front row from Gates. They've really made this possible. We have the best leaders and strategists from Washington and from Seattle, but the fact is that one is largely driven outside of the Beltway, because that's where change really happens. So One Vote 08 is engaging in the early primary states with bipartisan teams led by well-known political champions, and these are leaders who know what will work and they know how to win, and some of